Hello everybody and welcome back to another Community Fortress. In this video, I'm going to be indulging a little bit. There is uh, some fan service here. Uh, but what I would like to say before we really dive in is if you would like to send in a fortress for me to have a look at on this show, you can go down to my Discord server. There's a link down in the description. And just like Rizex here who sent in this particular fortress of Lover Floor, um, you, you yourself uh, could send in a fortress by simply uh, zipping the save file of your choice and uploading it directly to the Discord server along with some screenshots so I know what I'm getting into. And please leave permission for me to use it in a video. And if you are using a bunch of mods, please also zip your mods folder, just a copy of it, uh, alongside of the save file. So, uh, for this particular fortress, uh, I just want to say that first off, it's at an impressive scale. So, normally when I go to do one of these shows, or one of the, an episode of this show, I look over the fortress once, I do a once over, just kind of get an idea of where everything is at. Uh, in this one, I, I haven't done that. And the reason I haven't done that is because I've seen their screenshots and it leads me to believe that I shouldn't do that. I should just kind of work my way through. So, uh, first off, beautiful entryway. Like, this is, like, reminiscent of people who would play um, in ASCII and just build pixel art. This is, this is really cool. I'm a big fan of this entryway structure. I mean, getting a perfect circle is a bit of a pain in Dwarf Fortress to begin with, and uh, it's even more so of a pain when, uh, when when you're doing it with mouse control, in my opinion. I think it used to be much easier with the keyboard, old keyboard controls, but in the in the current setup, it's it's not the easiest thing in the world to get a perfect circle. So this looks really cool. Uh, I, I really, really like this entryway. Uh, up top here is kind of the main entryway. We've got uh, carpenters and scribes running in and out. And then also there's a ramp side entryway for traders, I assume. Or maybe, uh, well, looks like for cage traps and trapping enemies and or squishing them. Well, I mean, whatever works, right? Uh, you can see many urists running up and down into the fortress. And we have this elephant down here, which is lovely to see, as well as this kind of lovely little grass circle. You, you love green ways for uh, your, your, your characters to kind of get some sun. Um, then this beautiful quartzite uh, central structure alongside some stairs in the middle. So we're going to start working our way down here. And uh, as we move down, we're going to go through several different mining zones. Uh, we're going to see multiple different materials used on this uh, entryway. Uh, and then the bridges start to fade in. Um, we, we've got kind of this top one, which just goes up and down into the uh, uh, mining zones, I suppose. And then uh, as once we hit this down here, uh, over here on the side, we can see kind of a water reservoir uh, and then some more water reservoir. Once we hit this, we just get this lovely liquid pattern of water going in different directions. Um, once And then we just start getting uh, the beginnings of our office structures as well as uh, our kitchens. And up top, we have uh, this lovely little dwarf image alongside of the king, um, who I'm assuming lives here and spends most of their time up there. Beautiful capital. And then uh, we continue to move down and we get more of these offices. Um, and uh, then we get this. So these are all different guild halls. Each one has individual pixel arts. Um, I really, really respect the effort put into these because like, you know, there, it, it shows just how much you can do with the with this kind of graphic style. I mean, if, if I jump back over to ASCII here, you, you can even, like, see them in the ASCII, too. They, they, they do stand out on the floors, the different patterns that have been engraved here. Really, really cool. Big fan of this. Um, it just looks so nice. Uh, then here in the middle, we have all of these platinum tables and thrones. Uh, we have gold statues. We've got fountains all the way around from that water source up top that showers the dwarves as they enter. It's fantastic. We move down one. We've got all of these different rooms kind of scattered around. Uh, just all of the bedrooms that you would need for a fortress of this size, um, including several more offices and spaces for the tourists to stay. And then up here, we have a large hospital as well as a water supply at the back. Very important. And then we've got various little temples as well kind of scattered throughout and a few unused areas, but it doesn't really matter all that much. And then we've kind of got this large area, which seems to mostly be drainage. Um, and then power over here on the left. And we can move down a little bit. And we've got, we've got some more <laughs> beautiful uh, pixel arts and some unused space here. I wonder if this is supposed to be a, a barracks eventually, like this one. I would assume so, actually. Um, I guess for different weapon types. So they've got, what, blunt weapons, hammers, uh, spears, I would guess, and swords. Looks beautiful. Um, no, no comment or feedback there. Um, and then space for 
uh, those who are a little bit in trouble, who can't leave for a while. Um, and then as we move down, it looks like there's a library coming up. Absolutely cool central design. Um, and then crafting zones, you know, the, the usual the usual suspects, the uh, space for woodworking, space for cloth, space for gems, uh, just storage as well as a bunch of stone cutters. And then this one is also really cool. And, oh, would you look at that? Hmm. That's a cool skull. Neat. Uh, over here, we have various other logos uh, on the different deities. I really, I especially like this one, this little white castle. It's kind of cool looking. A little heart's nice too. Maybe the god of love and then the god of the night or something. And then the chessboard is also... I've seen the chessboard pop up in a few different forts now, and it's always cool as heck to see. But, uh, man, this... this uh, the Shrine of Taxing. Who are we taxing here? Uh... Anyway, it's dedicated to the Jade, maybe the God of Taxes. Am I the God of Taxes? <laughs> anyway, um, that's that's a really cool pixel art. I've never actually seen my logo uh, dressed up. There was a while ago, actually, where somebody uses, I, I think it was Perfect Map or something, um, to make a map that looked like this logo, uh, which I never did end up playing on, but uh, it was still cool to see nonetheless. Even in ASCII, it looks pretty cool. That's That's awesome. Thank you for doing this. This is neat. It's, it's, it's nice to get some fan art stuff every now and again. Then there's just like a big cut at the edge of the map. And then we can continue going down to this layer where there's just more materials scattered about. This whole layer is a library, actually. Wow. Okay. So this entire labor, li library area is for uh, like paper construction and manufacture, I suppose. That's cool. Huge writing room. I wonder how much of this space the dwarves actually use. Uh, we continue moving down and there's the place for the people who do not wake. Um, of course, we've got war dogs uh, keeping an eye on the most valuable artifacts so that theft is to a minimum. And then we can move down a little bit more, and there's a whole bunch of wheelbarrows as well as uh, 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 infinite stockpile, and I guess mashing for the types of stone they don't want. It's an interesting way of doing it. And then old, <laughs> like that. <laughs> this is the old area. Don't look. Let me keep scrolling. Let's see how, let's see how deep this rabbit hole goes, shall we? Just keeps going down. Okay, we get down to what seems to be Cavern Layer 2, as well as um, another set of forges. Wow. Big old water construction there. Probably for making obsidian, I would guess. Yeah, definitely looks like obsidian. Flood the area with lava and then dump the water on top. Easy peasy. And then uh, now that we get down to the base of things, we see the top of some gem spires that I guess they've started cutting out this, it appears there's already some friends down here. Capybara demons, would you look at that? But yeah, no, beautiful fortress. Absolutely gorgeous fortress. Like, I, I've i never made anything this cool in this here video game. I this is, this is awesome looking. Every single layer of this is wonderfully thought out. It's far too symmetrical for anything that I think I could ever build. But, you know, th this uh, cool skeleton here really kind of takes the cake, but... Frankly, this, this is awesome. I, I, I love this fortress. Thank you so much for sending this in for me to have a look at, Rizex. And um, frankly, it just it just looks awesome. It just looks awesome. Thank you very much for sending in this uh, fortress for me to have a look at on this show. If you would like to do the same and uh, send in a fortress for me to have a look at, you can do that via my Discord. The link is down in the description once again. And if you would like to support this channel directly, you can do that via my Patreon or by picking up a mug over on my merch store. It really does mean a lot, and it does keep this show going because monetization's gotten weird. Um, trying to experiment with using certain words and censoring things and... We'll get it sorted. I'm like 98% of the way there now. If VODs seem a little bit delayed from the normal upload times and the upload speed and normal cadence that they would normally be on, it's because I have to delay them five to seven days sometimes to get them like reviewed so that I can actually, you know, make money off of this YouTube channel. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks for supporting this channel. Feel free to add block if you want to. It doesn't actually matter to me all that much. I've seen some people mentioning that recently in the comments section. Do what you will. It doesn't really matter to me. Just uh, if you want to support me, pick up a piece of merch or support me on Patreon or check out the Twitch streams. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.